So the first thing you want to do is unload your ship. Start by putting all of the bins in a pile, then move the power cells next to each other. Put a wire on it, then scale the wire. Then put some solar panels on the wire. This is so that you can start generating some power. Now we need to start gathering resources, so make an extractor, then place it on an iron load. Then make two bins and make them 10 by 10 by 10. Then place the two bins on the extractor. Connect the extractor to the power cells using wires. You do this to power the extractors, however it can be a bit fiddly and take a while. Repeat these steps for all major resources, including grass. If your planet does not have grass or you do not have any grass bins, then build a new ship and new planets. Now we need power. For this, we will be using an auto reactor. If your planet does not have uranium on it, then you will need to find some other way of powering your extractors and factories. To make the auto reactor, copy the URL at the bottom of this video. Then press the purple button or press N on your keyboard. Now paste the URL in the text box and press load. It should come up with a bunch of things you need to craft. Once you have crafted all of these things, walk to an open place that has no parts around and press load. Now we need uranium and water for the reactor to work. First we will get uranium. This is simple, just craft an extractor, find a uranium node and put the extractor on the uranium node. Then configure the extractor to be uranium. Craft two antennas and a transporter. Put one of the antennas on the wire connecting the two power cells. Then configure it to a number you will remember. Then configure the second antenna to the same antenna ID as the first and bring it to the extractor on the uranium node and it should start extracting uranium. If not, make sure the antennas have the same ID. Now configure the transporter you just made and bring that transporter to the extractor on the uranium node. Then, if you haven't already, put the antenna on the extractor. Now for the water. Make four pumps and drag them to an ocean next to each other. Then place a wire on top of the pumps and drag them across. Then make an antenna and configure the ID to the same ID on the wire connecting the power cells. Now make a transporter and a pipe. Configure the transporter ID to the same one on the reactor next to the buttons and polysilicon. Now put the pipe on the pumps and the transporter on the pipe. Finally, put an antenna on the wire on the pump. Now to start up the reactor, configure the antenna in between the steam generators to the antenna ID connecting the power cells. Then configure the antenna connected to the microcontroller. Now press the button. It should start dispensing uranium into the reactor. If it is not, then put a bin in between the dispenser, then put a transporter on the bin. And it should dispense uranium into the reactor. Now make a container, put it on the reactor, then put the transporter on the reactor onto the container. And it should start to contain water. Now it is time to build factories. Factories are a critical part of Waste of Space as it will allow you to store all your resources in one spot and automatically build things. The factory we will be using is from the Party Pikachu. He has a very good video on how it works. The link will be in the description. Copy the URL for the factory in the description and put it in the model loader, the purple box with arrows. Then press load and make all the things it tells you to. Once you have made all the materials for the factory, walk to an open space and press load, and you should have a factory. Configure the transporter on the factory to an ID you will remember. Now make more transporters and configure them to the same ID as the one on the factory. Replace all of the bins on the extractors with a transporter. Now configure all of the assemblers and filters to items you want to produce. Once you have done so, you can configure the antenna on the factory to the main antenna, the one connecting the power cells. You will most likely be facing a power problem. For this, all you have to do is make another auto reactor and add extra pumps. You will also need to gather more resources, and for this I recommend using antennas instead of wiring everything. And there you have it, how to make a base in Waste of Space. There is plenty of room for expanding the base, getting more resources, adding more factories, and making bigger and better power storage and generators. But for now, 
that is the end. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to put some video ideas in the comment below and subscribe.